What is up, everybody? I'm back for another video. Roll the intro, please. Welcome mean? back. <laughs> that was our intro. It is new, raw, and unedited. Tonight, I have another very special guest as I'm ending, nearing the end of my journey of doing videos and YouTube videos. Um, there's been quite a bit, few videos and I've done a lot and I'm nearing the end of it, almost 30, 30 days. And I had Gracie, my wife, on a few weeks ago mm -hmm. on a Friday night. She was my very special guest. Now tonight, I have her back. This is Grace. Hi. What do you got to say to the camera? How's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> This is you say, Keegan. <laughs> Let's go, man. See, I'm already I'm already impacting this generation. I'm already making a big influence and impact on this generation. Number one fan, what can I say? See, I, I, I have a uh, few views on my videos and they've all either been me or her. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few mysterious viewers out there. We might have a few. We see you. <laughs> we see you. We appreciate you. We thank you. So... On this very special night, this last video, Gracie and I, we did, we got to know her a little bit. I heard her story, heard her testimony, heard about her life, and then some things that she enjoys, passions. And then we went and talked about and had a topic of the Song of Solomon in the Bible, the eight chapter love song that I talked about a lot at the beginning of my videos. And now we want to talk about another important topic in the Bible and that. Uh, we are passionate about and that we feel um, God is put highlighting in this hour and that is um, end times that is the study of the end times the study of biblical passages regarding the end times events in the end times are leading up to the end times the last days and the end times book of Revelation a lot of book of Daniel a lot of Isaiah a lot of Zechariah and different prophets throughout the Old Testament. Jesus mentions um, the end times, his second coming, I think more than his first coming. Mm -hmm. Talks about that more. Um, and there's actually more chapters in the Bible regarding his second coming over his first coming. Mm -hmm. There's 150 chapters that we have heard. I haven't studied that personally that I've heard regard about the end times. And then there's like 90 or something or 80 or 90 regarding his first coming. So tonight we wanted to talk about the study of the end times. And I said in one of my other videos, I mean, who doesn't think about the end of the world? Especially today, 2021. I mean, all the movies we watch, all the stuff we hear. I mean, there's so many different ways. I mean, who alive, especially in America, doesn't think about the end times? I remember growing up as a high school kid, I didn't even know Jesus. Didn't even know God. And I thought about the end of the world. I kind of got scared. Like, how is the world going to end? Because, I mean, you're taught that in school. There's global warming. There's natural disasters, all the science and um, astronomy we know today of what could happen, meteors, anything that could, natural disasters that could destroy the whole earth, or humans, global wars that could just wipe out disease, pestilences, that just so many different things that people think of, well, how is the world going to end? And it's a forefront question in people's minds, and especially um, in 2021 with all the knowledge and the increase of information that we've been receiving as we're in the age of information the age of technology and advancing and what we know all, and all everything that we know nowadays it's there is uh and even even that there's that side of it and there's the the deeper heart issue where ecclesiastes says god has put eternity on our hearts mm -hmm. so really the deeper question people are asking is there is eternity on my heart how is this going to end? How is the world going to end? What's going to happen? Is this, is this it? Is there more? Like, and then if you don't know the word, and I'm, I'm just speaking as like more just culture, culture, secular, secular people are just like, what's normal. But if you know the word, you really, you know that eternity is on our heart yeah. and that there is an ending. There's a ending of the story. And I think that's the most important part. There's an ending there's a beginning and the end of a story, a grand finale, the most beautiful grand finale of the most beautiful fireworks show we've ever seen 
and that's the, just the climax and apex of a awesome epic story, and that's an understatement. Hmm. So, Gracie, what do you have to think, thoughts, yeah, anything about the end times or that? Yeah, thanks. Um, when we say eschatology, it's such a deep topic that people have dedicated their whole life to, scholars, even just the book of Revelation alone, there's lots of people that feel like they can't understand it. It doesn't make sense. Um, and like Keegan said, there's eschatolog- eschatological scriptures throughout the entire Bible and Daniel and Psalms. There's themes everywhere. Um, so when we talk about it, it's kind of hard to figure out like what, how, where do I even start? Um, and what's important for me today? Like there's obviously some major things and then there's minor things and you can dig into all the details and digest all of it and of course like it's beautiful and it talks about who Jesus is and how he's going to lead us but then there's also just truths that we can take away um and so I was talking to a friend recently um a couple weeks ago about just like she had never heard about end times stuff she didn't she just thought everybody you know, Jesus came back and we all left in the sky. And I said, that's great, but what if what if you're wrong? And what if he comes after tribulation and you're left with questions about who God is and you're seeing suffering like you've never seen before? You're, you yourself are suffering and your children. And also you're seeing the most glorified, amazing, incredible miracles, salvations, healings, all these things. Um, So anyways, I just wanted to share a few important takeaways. Um, Obviously, I think we're pretty much in line with the same truths, Um, but I encourage our viewers today that you need to search the Bible yourself and um, see what what the, allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and remember that um, you can't just take one truth from one passage but look throughout all of scripture and um, it should not ever misrepresent who God is um, so you should see it throughout the entire scriptures not just like one verse um, but a few things to um, keep in mind is that um, in Matthew, is it 24, mm-hmm. talks about, that's a really good passage to start. Um, it's, a, it's in the Gospels, it's right there. Jesus himself talked about um, the day of um, the abomination of desolation and about many falling away. And it talks about how the love of many will grow cold, how marriage will be outlawed, it's not going to be popular, how there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. And Jesus says, you know, take heart, do not be discouraged or weighed down or worried by these things because it's just the beginning. So I think for us to remember is that do not get weighed down by the little things and allow your heart to get troubled over the wars and the rumors of wars because it's just the beginning. Um, We say COVID-19 I've been thinking about this because we've talked about like, oh, COVID-19 was just a, it was nothing for us, you know. But there was, I was thinking about Keegan, how there's people that it really did affect. There's people that were out without jobs and food. There's people that died that Absolutely. didn't get medical attention, that didn't get medical supplies. So it was very real to them just because to us it did affect us, but not to that extreme. Um, but I was thinking about how we talked about 